Good morning. So today we are going to start a new uh, chapter that is insight into the program execution. Okay. So in this chapter we will learn how a program is executed to uh, executed in the computer. Previously, well, uh, I told you about what is program and all that thing in the introduction part. Okay. Uh, introduction of the uh, CS class. And today we will go for the introduction of this thing, ki how the program will execute. Okay, so today we will cover only two things, one is the source code, another is the machine code. The source code is a, is a code or it's a program that written in any high level language. Any kind of high level language, whatever program you are typing in your computer, so that it can be understood by you or the human being or the programmer. We can understand the program. That kind of program is known as a source code. But that source code is not uh, readable or not uh, executable by the computer or it is not understood by the computer. That's why the computer changes the format of the source code to its own code which is known as a machine code which is nothing than a combination of binary numbers and in the last two or three uh, two chapters we learn about how the numbers or characters are converted into binary. Even if how the calculations are done in binary, even if how the logical calculations are done in uh, binary system. So simply if we can uh, going to understand this, uh, in a source code or in a high level programming language, if I am writing a syntax like this, uh, print uh, my name is python. Now this is a statement, this is a simple statement of python programming language that used to print a line that displaying uh, my name is python. But this particular statement, this statement is not understood by the computer. That's why the computer converts this to, into its own format, which is known as the machine code, or it is also known as binary code or machine language. It is also known as machine language. Like the source code, the pro source code is known as high level language, programming high level language. When it converts to machine language, it is known as machine code or it is known as a binary code. So it will something like that. After converting the uh, high level code or the source code into machine code, it will be displayed like this only, which is not uh, readable by us or which cannot be understood by us, but it can be understood by the machine. Uh, okay. So whenever we are writing any program, the program is written in any high level programming language. There are different kind of programming language already I told you in the software concept. These are different kind of programming language. Nowadays we are using high level programming language. So anything we are typing or any program we are designing, the programs are always written in a high level programming language. Then it become from the high level program or it is the source code, it became to binary code, it will convert it to binary code using uh, some of the translation of, from the program in high level to the binary code in this process or in this particular time the translation taken place. That means here the program is translated to binary code. Now, for that translation purpose, generally two kind of translators are used. One is compiler, another is the interpreter. Now, after the binary code has been generated, then what happens? The program is executed and when the program is executed, the inputs of that program will be given to the <coughs> computer. Sorry. The input of the program will be given to the computer as well as whatever be the output or whatever be the calculation done and we will get the output of the program. So, particular process when program convert to its binary code, that time the translation taken place and for the translation we are using two kind of translator here, one is the interpreter, another is the compiler. In the software concept chapter I told you what is interpreter and what is 
compiler. Let's have a revision of that. The compiler and the interpreter both are translated. That translate uh, high-level programming language to machine language. But the difference between a compiler and the interpreter is that the compiler will convert the whole program at a time. Then it put the program for the execution purpose. Whereas in case of an interpreter, it will translate the program in instruction by then each instruction is executed separately. That means, suppose we have 10 instructions. 1, 2, 3, 4, suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the 10. These are the 10 instructions we have in a program. Then what happened in this case, suppose we are using compilers, then what happened, complete this 10 program will be converted to binary code and again those 10 program will be executed by the CPU. But in case of an interpreter, if we are using an interpreter, then what happens, suppose we have 10 instructions. Then what happens, the instruction 1 is execute, com, uh, converted, it move for execution. Instruction 2 is converted, it go for execution. Instruction 3 is converted, it will go for the execution. That is the only difference between the compiler and the interpreter. So this much for today. In the next class, we will go for a detailed procedure how an interpreter or a compiler convert a source language program into binary language and how the interpreter it is the job of the interpreter or the compiler of the execution of the program that means the program is executed through the interpreter or the compiler so in the next class we will learn how the interpreter or the compiler are uh, go through different processes for converting a high level program to machine language and from the machine language program to push execution. So this much for today. Thank you and have a nice day.